What's going on guys? Exotic Gaming here, finally back with another vlog. Yes, I finally have decided to do another one of these. You guys have been asking me to do it constantly ever since I did my last one, and I have a couple interesting things I want to do today in this vlog, so let's get right into it. So I don't really think this is the best camera angle, but I honestly don't care. At least you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I got myself some stuff from Publix. Publix is a supermarket which is kind of only in the Southeast United States. Got myself a sandwich, got myself some chips. Gonna have lunch now. Gotta get all that sub dressing on that sandwich cause you know how we do it down here in the South. We like it moist. By the way, I apologize for that last little clip. That's like cringe level over 9,000, I apologize. I just realized I think the expiration date is February 7th on this sub dressing. But screw it, I'm gonna just have it anyways. It also says refrigerate after opening recommended and we've never refrigerated it. We've just kept it in our pantry right over there. I'm not a Casey Neistat, so I'm not gonna time lapse myself eating this sandwich, so I'll see you guys in a sec. All right guys, so I'm editing the video right now, and I thought about one very important part that I left out of the video. There is a person which is trying to create a vlogging channel and trying to pose as me. So if you see any person commenting on my videos saying, Hey, check out my second channel, my vlogging channel. It's not me, okay? I do not have a vlogging channel. And if you see any stupid videos from somebody that's called Exotic Gaming Vlogs, it's not me. So if you see that channel, make sure to go search that channel up. Just dislike the videos and report that channel because they are trying to be me. And uh, they're kind of making a bad name for myself because some of the titles of the videos that they're taking are things like Really Soft Sucks and stuff like that. I don't want to have that as my image for really soft. I mean, hey, what if they ban me? What if they think that's actually me and I'm trying to make out that really soft is really bad? So guys, please do a favor and just report that channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. So I finished up the sandwich, but I wanted to show you guys something. Look at this right now. It's 93, but the heat index is 108. And that is why I don't like living in Florida. So guys, guess what? I got this box right here, this beautiful, beautiful box, and I wonder what's inside. Guys, I absolutely love this stuff. Bubble wrap! Okay, I'm done. Oh, whoops, that was turned the wrong way. But yeah, guys, I finally got it. I finally got this silver play button. I'm not gonna act all surprised because I know exactly what was inside the box all along. I'm not gonna act like all the other YouTubers when they open up the silver play button, but guys, I'm so excited to finally get this thing. I reached 100,000 subscribers back in November of last year. And it's now July, it's been nine months, and I finally gotten it. In the vlog I did before this one, I finally was able to claim it, and that was in May, and it's taken two months, but I finally gotten it, and I am so, so happy. It's beautiful, it's a work of art, it even says my name, and I can see my reflection in the silver play button. It actually almost looks bronze in this reflection, but yeah, it's silver, guys. I'm gonna go hang this right up on my wall. I'm gonna put it like, pff, I don't know, right here? That'd be good. No, I'm gonna put it in my room. Just kidding. It's gonna be freaking awesome, guys. I'm so, so happy. So these next couple of moments are dedicated to whatever major YouTubers say when they finally reach this milestone. But seriously, guys, I mean each and every word that I say to my absolute fullest. I want to thank each and every one of you, 162,000 of you now, for sticking with the channel, even in the darkest of times. When I first started doing YouTube in late December 2013, I didn't think all this was going to happen. I mean, no YouTuber who starts doing videos at the very beginning ever thinks a big, huge channel is going to happen. I originally started off doing a couple of glitch videos on Pixelgun 3D, thinking I would maybe upload 5, 10 videos, maybe have 40, 50 views on the video, and just have it mainly for myself and a couple of other people to watch and continue to learn how to do some of the glitches in Pixelgun 3D. And then about six months later, I was realizing that I was getting into the thousands and even tens of thousands of views on several of the videos that I posted. And I realized that I could potentially upload some more. Because there was a point where I actually thought I was just going to stop 
and you guys can go way back to early 2014, where I actually uploaded a video something like Exotic Gaming Channel Revival, where I actually was seriously considering just stopping because there was no point in really continuing on doing videos. But I kept doing a couple more, and then I eventually was up to around 1,000, 2,000 subscribers almost a year after I first started doing videos. And then in January 2015, that's when I finally noticed everything taking off. In about November of 2014, I was about 10,000 subscribers. And then in January, I was at 15,000. I was like, wow, I'm getting 5,000 subscribers in two months. That's pretty good. So I started doing more and more videos on different games and stuff like that. And it's turned into all this. And it's so freaking awesome, guys, that I finally reached this milestone. I mean, I said that a long time ago, back when I finally did get 100,000 subscribers, but I'm saying that again. I was very nervous because I didn't think I was going to get this silver plate button because, I mean, it's usually going to take two months after you reach 100,000 subscribers before you get the notification. And I got that notification like six months later, so... I finally got it though, guys, and I'm so excited and I wanna thank each and every one of you. If I could literally name off each and every one of you guys, I would do that. But just know that I want to thank each and every one of you, and if you are watching this video, you too. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get up to a million next. I don't really know how long that's gonna take, but I really hope it doesn't stop here, and let's shoot for the big gold play button. Seven digits, let's do this. Guys, I don't know where to put my silver play button. Look, I mean, my whole walls are filled up with stuff. So like, oh, by the way, that's me. <laughs> should I uh, put it on this side right here? Or should I put it um, somewhere over here? So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just have you guys let me know in the comments down below. So should I put it on the west side, which is right here? Or the east side, which is on this side? Let me know down below, please. So guys, big jump in the video, but I'm in the car right now, and um, I drove with my friend over to the gym to see if there's a short membership because we have to practice weightlifting for the time that I'm back here in Florida before I go up to Vermont. So I'm gonna stop recording now because it's not smart to record when you're driving on a curvy road, so yeah. Now I wanna ask, how many of you guys, when your family's not home, Get the whipped cream and uh, go like that. You know what I want to do right now? You know what I want to do? I want to turn on my Wii U and play some Mario Kart Wii. Rest in peace. CTGP Revolution has 24 updates available and it takes this long to download and install a single update. Yeah, I'll be waiting a while. In the meantime, guys, I wanted to show you guys this little thing right here, which was literally my childhood back when I was like four, five, six years old. This thing is called a Leapfrog Explorer, and basically what it was was, it was like a little touchscreen globe thing where you learned a lot about the different countries. You learned like name, capital, population, area, music, money, distance, uh, all of the different types of stuff. And it sparked my love for geography and the love of different countries and stuff like that. And I actually... Um, in middle school went to a state geography bee in Florida and I got second place. So that was pretty freaking awesome All right, let's turn this bad boy on see if it still works from 2001 Quantum. Oh my god, it still works. Yes Time to change your battery. Shut up. I don't need to change my battery. I only <laughs> last time I had my battery changed was probably 12 years ago. I don't need to get this changed. All right, actually know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to population Touch. Touch the globe for information. All right, let's see um, a country that's changed with population a lot. The U.S. has changed. There's like 330 million people in the U.S. now. I kind of want to see how many people live there now. The Pacific Ocean. What? The Pacific Ocean. Uh, okay. The Pacific Ocean. Columbia population. What? 40 million. How is that Columbia? Are you kidding me? Columbia is down there. New York is not Columbia. Okay, let me try Canada. The Pacific. Great. Isn't that just wonderful? Okay, how about the UK? The Gulf of Guinea. What the heck? Ghana. Population. This is not Ghana. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is so screwed. No, this thing was my childhood. What about Russia? More than one place touched. What? You can freaking touch the green arrow. Brunei. Touch the yellow. What? Arrow. Philippines. 
How was this the Philip guys? Wow, you guys who are from the Philippines live up there. Holy moly! Dang. What about Thailand? More than one place touch. What? Malaysia touch. The this is not Malaysia. Singapore touch the yellow arrow. Oh wait a minute, hold on. More than one Indonesia. Population. Oh, okay. I think I got it now, guys. The farther away you get from some place, the more inaccurate it gets. Okay, so it's probably very accurate for Uganda. Kenya, population, Kenya, Uganda. Okay, all right, I got it. Well, that sucks. This doesn't work anymore. I'm so sad, guys. This thing, this thing is amazing. It doesn't work anymore. I want to try one more thing. Uh, I'm going to go to... Area. Shut up, I don't care. Let's, let's go see what the area of, uh, of, uh, freaking Democratic Republic of the Congo is. Miles. Wow, that's wonderful. I don't freaking care. Okay. All right, guys. So that's the Leapfrog Explorer. This thing back there, back there doesn't work at all. Kind of sucks. Okay, back to Mario Kart Wii. It's literally only installed one single update so far. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to probably disconnect the game and then try to run it without all of these newer updates. Look at this replay, guys. This is my best time on Mushroom Gorge. Oh my god, it's amazing. Hold on, let me zoom in just a bit. Look at it! Just look at it! This is the best glitch ever in Mario Kart Wii. I tried so hard to get this thing, and I finally got it. Look at this. Boom. Beautiful. With Bowser Jr. even. Like my favorite character. And then you gotta go like that. Jump. Hit the wall. And then go exactly like this, drift around, and then somehow, by doing that, you get another lap. And I did that two other times, so it's pretty freaking awesome. So are you guys ready to see the absolute most amazing glitch in Mario Kart Wii? Check this out. So all you gotta do is right after you spawn in on Mario's Gold Mine, travel over to this spot right here, go like this, hit the pipe, die like I did right there, then when you respawn, you spawn back here. You travel a little bit farther, you hit the wall right back here, you go back, and then, watch the magic happen. You go like this, and then boom! Lap number two. 19 second lap on a map where the laps are generally like 40 seconds or so. I got a little carried away there when I was commentating that, so I just did a little cut in the video. I ended up commentating like literally three races, and uh, that's, that's a little too long. But guys, comment down below if you want to see me do Mario Kart Wii, because I could probably do that in the future if enough people want to see that. So guys, the coolest thing just happened. I'm actually done by my... Oh my god, there's going to be such a big thing of... Oh my god, this is going to be really loud thunder there in just a second. I just saw this massive lightning bolt come down. Listen to that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go like this in case there is lightning coming down again. But guys, this is a weird camera angle. I just saw like huge massive bolts of lightning through here and it's the coolest thing. I want to see if I can get a video of lightning for you guys right before I end this vlog. Actually, look at that. Guys, I think that actually got set on fire. Something got set on fire from one of those lightning bolts. Dang. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, did you see that other one? I think it just, I think you guys just saw another one. Holy moly. There are a lot of lightning bolts. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was another one. Holy. That is sick. I can't believe I got that on video. Guys, guys, oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Can I get another one? There was another one! That's sick! Guys, there's so many freaking lightning bolts! That's my cue for going inside! That struck like right next to me!
it's getting windy it's getting dark um this is my signal to go inside guys after i got almost struck by lightning a bunch of times the wind is picking up i literally hear continual thunder and uh this is a really bad thunderstorm this is a lot more lightning than what we generally have uh for a thunderstorm so this is pretty crazy all right guys so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go order myself some chinese food and pick that up for dinner Traveling outside my neighborhood again, going to get myself some Chinese food. Probably not the smartest thing because there's a thunderstorm outside, but I don't really care. I'm hungry. So the food? Good. I love Chinese food. Chinese food's like one of my most favorite foods. It's amazing. Kind of happy that storm went through because the temperature sure went down a lot. It's only 89 heat index now. The temperature is 85. Pretty good. But it's 8 o'clock, so it is pretty hot for 8 o'clock still. You guys know what I'm going to do right now? I'm gonna record my pixel gun video now. That was good. Video turned out great, and um, it'll be posted right after this one. So if you can believe it, I forgot another important part of the video, and that was the outro when I was recording it yesterday. So I'm gonna say my outro now. I have this backdrop of some flowers because I think that looks pretty good. I don't really know, but I don't really care. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Vlog number four. This is probably a longer vlog than my past ones, so hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys stayed till the end. If you guys stayed till the end, comment Red Rose. I don't even think that's a rose, I think that's a poppy. But just comment Red Rose anyways, and we'll see how many of you guys actually stayed till the end. Um, regarding what I said yesterday, uh, I seriously want to thank you guys again for helping me get to 100,000 and now 162,000 subscribers now. Each and every one of you guys is awesome, and I truly thank you to my absolute fullest possible extent. But um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy vlog number four. If you guys did, then make sure to hit that like button down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys did. It would really mean a lot if you guys did hit the like button and make sure to comment down below anything that I said down below in the comment section. And uh, yeah, before I start getting hiccups, like I'm about to get hiccups right now, um, Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode, which will be Pixel Gun, and that is going to be right after this one.